Good morning and welcome to number three of the Student Success Series for Spring 2020. First and foremost, remember that North Shore Technical Community College is here for you. So all you need to do is call us or email at successcoach at northshorecollege.edu and let us know what you need, whether you're struggling with your classes or with this virus situation or anything at all. Call, email, let us know what you need. We have lots of resources lined up for you. We're ready to support you in every way that we can, so please reach out to us. Our topic for today is better notes lead to less stress for tests. So the first thing that we do whenever we have a task at hand is to analyze how much time do we have to do that task. We have exactly four and a half weeks between today and the first day of exams. So think about that, four and a half weeks, Okay, it's about a month. We all have a lot of work to do, all of us, a lot of work to do in that four and a half weeks. Sometimes it feels like an elephant. We have so much work to do. So here's my question for you. Can you eat a whole elephant in four and a half weeks? The answer is yes, you can. If you plan accordingly, and if you bite away at that elephant every single day, you're going to be able to eat that whole elephant in four and a half weeks. What's the goal? Less stress on tests. So let me show you how you can do that. The first big bite that you're going to take out of the elephant is taking good notes. Notes help us to remember, they help us to understand the material, and they help us to connect the material to things that we already know. So when you're taking notes, you're listening to an online lecture or you're reading a chapter, you're going to write down things in key words. You're not going to try to under, write down everything that the speaker or the chapter is saying. You're going to write it down in key words, short phrases. You're going to learn your own system of abbreviations. In my handout, I have a table of abbreviations for you. This has a lot of college abbreviations in there, so I hope that you will utilize that table and add to it. Whenever you're writing abbreviations or things come to you, turn your notebook to that last page and write down that, that abbreviation or that symbol so that you can go back to it later and build your own table of abbreviations. It's your own shorthand. It's going to help you to take faster notes and be able to focus on what you're learning as opposed to writing everything down. Super important. And the last important feature of taking good notes is leaving lots of space. So you want to leave space in the margins, you want to leave space in between things, and you want to leave space at the bottom of each page. We're going to get to why you need to do that a little bit later. So in my handout, I have lots of symbols, diagrams, question marks, boxes, circles, highlighters, colors, sticky notes, things that you can use to connect information together to make things stand out, important things. When you go to sit down to take that test, you're going to be able to remember that sticky note that was by it, that color that you highlighted it with. So learn to utilize these symbols in your own table of symbols. It's going to help you. It's going to help you all the time. The second big bite out of the elephant is to review. So as close to you as you can after you've listened to an online lecture or read a chapter, whatever the case might be, and you've written your notes, you want to go back and reread your notes you want to add in things that help you to understand it better, maybe do a little bit more research, maybe look up a word that you didn't understand and write down a definition. You're going to write that in that space that you've left. Remember that the more time that you spend with your notes, the more you're going to learn it. Repetition is what locks things into long-term memory. So you've listened to the online lecture, you've taken notes, and then you've reviewed your notes. That's automatically three forms of repetition right there. That's how you learn the ABCs, that's how you learned how to count, and a million other things that you've learned in your lifetime. It's repetition that locks things into long-term memories. Memory, that's three things that you've, three processes that you've already done for that material right there off the bat. So always remember to review your material. And then bite three out of the elephant is to summarize and study. So as you're reading that material again, for the fourth time now, at the bottom of each page where you've left that space, you're going to summarize the material. So it's important to know that in order to summarize, you've got to think about it, you've got to analyze it, you've got to process it, and then you're going to summarize it at the bottom of the page. That's going to help you to learn it and to remember it later on, to be able to recall it. The fourth bite out of, an el out of the elephant is to test yourself. Here we get to my favorite mode of study, which is flashcards. 
So you can write questions on one side and answers on the other, terms on one side and definitions on the other, dates on one side and, and special events on the other. Lots of different ways that you can use flashcards. You can use Quizlet.com. That's Quizlet.com. It's a super tool. You can make online flashcards and it will make up tests and matching things for your flashcards for you to be able to so that you'll better be able to test yourself. Also, your siblings are at home. They are doing their own online learning. Your parents, your grandparents, whoever might be there, friends, call them up and ask them, can I explain this to you? Might be a little strange at first, but when you have to explain something, even if you don't know it very well starting out, by the time you explain it, you're going to understand it better yourself. By explaining things, we learn things better. Think about when you're giving directions to somebody. You've got to process each street, each turn that you have to make in order to follow those directions. You've got to think about it to be able to explain it to somebody. Do the same thing with your material. It's once again a method of repetition that helps lock that material into long-term memory. Super important step. Step five and the last step. The bite five out of the elephant is to repeat. So you remember you've got four and a half weeks. Got to eat that whole elephant. You're going to do it in five big five bites that you repeat regularly. You're going to take good notes, use keywords, short phrases, lots of abbreviations. You're going to leave lots of space. You're going to go back and put explanations in there, summarize things, add bullets to the list. You're going to study and summarize the major themes on the bottom of each page. Then you're going to go and repeat that over and again, knowing that repetition is what locks, locks things into long-term memory. What is bite six out of the elephant? The reward. Every time you sit down to take a quiz, every time you sit down to take a test, that material is going to be there in your head because you've put it into your long-term memory. You're going to be smiling instead of stressed when you take that test. Super, super worth it. Do it. Work super hard six days a week for the next four and a half weeks. Every time you take a quiz or a test, know that that feeling of peace and happiness that you have while you're doing it, because you haven't really suffered to learn that material, you've just done it regularly and with repetition. That's what's going to lock it into that long-term memory. I have one little bonus in my handout that's in this email. I put in here for all of you who are trying to study with children underfoot, some super good tips for keeping those children preoccupied and in a positive way. So it's a little bonus for you. Last but not least, I want you always to remember that we're here for you. We are here to support you in every way that we can. So email successcoach at northshorecollege.edu. Call. Do, what, do whatever you need to do, but reach out and let us know what you need. And always, we believe in you. You can do it. We're going to get through this together.